And off the top tonight here at 6, we begin with some breaking news where we have learned that a D.C. police officer has been arrested for child sex abuse. Police say 28 year old Charles Johnson II was abusing a young girl between January 2020 and September of 2021. Our chief legal correspondent Katie Barlow has been following this trial from the very beginning. So Katie, we want to break down this verdict with you. The jury awarded Depp $15 million in damages. Five million of that is in punitive damages, but Virginia caps the recovery of the damages. So how will this impact the decision? OK, so let's talk about this $10,000 in uh, loan forgiveness and up to $20,000 if they've received a federal Pell Grant. Tell us how the president was able to come to this number. Winter weather is headed our way. That is right, and crews have been hard at work getting the roads ready for some inclement conditions and our Mike Thomas joins us now from the Weather Center with a look at the forecast. Mike, I see the radar behind us is busy and I see the radar behind you shows a lot of purple and dark purple <laughs> indicating a lot of ice coming. Yeah, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a little bit of a crowd behind us. Yeah. Yeah. Inside the Eagle Bank Club, Rob is here with you, Aaron Como, Tucker. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm here with you guys right now. Thank you guys for having me on this morning. Thank you for gracing we us with your presence. You There's also been a little bit of a cloud over the team, obviously, with the, with the owner and Dan Snyder and what he's going through. Does that play a factor at all here during training camp? We are here at the Reston Town Center for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Light the Night event here. This is an event that is actually one of the, is the third largest event in the country as far as fundraising walks go. And LLS has been trying to raise money to beat cancer for over 70 years. We got lanterns here, which is, you saw in some of that file video. This red one is for those who support cancer. We also have a gold one for folks who have lost a, a member of their family to cancer. And the white one is for those who have survived like our very own Jennifer Delgado. The governor's model policies on transgender students has been a controversial topic for weeks. Governor Youngkin said he updated the policies because the previous guidelines disregarded the rights of the parents. Well, only here on Fox 5, the father of a MedStar doctor who was killed when thieves stole his car two months ago is speaking out. The crime wasn't classified as a carjacking, but is part of a bigger problem in the district. Fox 5's Stephanie Ramirez is live in the Adams Morgan neighborhood tonight. Stephanie, we know this family is grieving. How are they doing right now? So young. And we know, Stephanie, a big problem connected to the auto theft crime was that a lot of the programs and schools went virtual in the pandemic. We know the region is open again. So how are things being addressed at this time? But he is Jeff Bezos. Yeah, that's true. And you are Harvey Levin. And Harvey, by the way, I love that picture behind you. Of uh, I believe that's your dog with the yarmulke and the towels. Oh, oh it was a bark mitzvah. <laughs> That is an amazing picture. I didn't, I didn't know you could see that. I, I saw it. I saw it. If you think your diet is pretty healthy, you're probably overestimating your eating habits. Researchers from the Department of Agriculture looked into how healthy people's diets are compared to how healthy they claim they eat. But it, it does say that your perception of what is healthy is very skewed to what truly, in the scientific term, is It's like, look, I had potatoes, but it was French fries, homie. It was French <laughs> fries. It's not part of the diet. You know, you can't, you can't have it both ways and claim that you're eating healthy. All right, get your melodious voices ready because Spotify is introducing a karaoke mode. Yes, it'll let you sing along to whatever song is being played and the app will also score you based on your performance. Right now, karaoke mode is in a test phase, so not every user will have access to it. But if you do, you will see a special sing button on the app. Well, we continue to follow some breaking news out of Falls Church, Virginia, where Fairfax County police are on the scene of a homicide investigation in the 2900 block of Williston Place in Falls Church. Officers on scene say that a woman was found dead inside of her apartment. This discovery was made just after 3 p.m. this afternoon. Now, Fox 5 has a crew in the area. Again, this is a fluid situation. Well, we are following some breaking news coming into our newsroom from Southeast D.C., where homicide investigators are on the scene of a shooting along Wheeler Road. What you're seeing right now is a live picture of that scene, which is near Oxen Run Park. Now, the call came in just after 3 p.m., and police are telling us that they found an adult man unconscious and not breathing. At this time, there's no word on any suspect or suspects. But again, this is a fluid situation, and we will continue to monitor this.
We are just learning right now, I'm being told that the victim has passed away. So one victim is dead now. Again, this is a scene in Southeast DC along Wheeler Road in the Oxen Run Park where we have just learned that the victim is dead. We will continue to follow this situation over there and bring you more updates on air and online.